Just want to start off saying happy birthday, boss man, Dana White. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Slow would sing, but everyone's ears would bleed. Start off with the lioness. A lot of noise has been made about you having the physical advantages in this fight with Juliana having the mental edge. What changes have you made to ensure you will be the one with the mental edge Saturday evening inside the octagon? Saturday, I just have to be precise with my shot, you know? And of course, everybody make a mistake. I make one, but I adjust everything. I get everything tight and sharp. And Saturday, I will show you guys. I deserve my title back. Regardless of what happens Saturday, will you be defending your 145 pound title next? Yes. As fast as possible. I want to walk away with my 135 belt and then I'm going to look, look at Dana like, let's go. Let's go up and let's do it. Juliana, you get your hand raised Saturday night. Instead of defending 135, would you challenge her for the 145 pound strap? I mean, all the real fights are at 135. She's saying that she's going to fight at 145 and defend her belt against who? Name three 145ers. Name two 145ers. There's nobody in that division. Everybody knows that the real fights are at 135 pounds. Amanda and I are the two best female fighters in the world, and the real fights, all the real shit's at 135. Question for Kai Car of France. Your teammate, Israel Adesanya, was in a war, five-round war, to become the interim champ against Calvin Gaslam. What's the key takeaway that you have to get the same result for your interim title fight? You know, um, you know, I've got great teammates, great world champions, El Israel and Alex, uh, but I've got my own belt to win, and um, I put myself in this position. I earned this. I didn't just sit back and wait for my title shot. I went out there and, and showed everyone why I'm the next contender. So, um, you know, I've been in this journey for over 10 years now, and um, I just feel like it's my time.